Welcome back to my channel. I am Piotr Tarnawski, aka Angry Admin from AngrySystems.com. Just, just a few days ago, uh, we were patching our vCenter, but today we see there's a new update and the significance of it is this number three over here. So it means that this is vSphere 8 update three. And today I will tell you what's new. So let's kick the update first. Uh, let's do the stage and install. We have to, of course, accept terms and conditions. Click next. It's about 35 pins in my case, but it could be different in yours. It depends on the size of the vCenter. This is my dev vCenter, my test environment. So I'm not worried. And okay, once the upgrade is in progress, let's talk what's new in the update tree. Besides obvious security features and bug uh, fixing, we can expect few quite interesting features. The first of the feature I want to tell you is a partial maintenance mode. Partial maintenance mode is an automatic state that each host will enter when performing a visceral live patch, which I will tell you in a few seconds what is the live patch. This state allows existing VMs to continue to run, but this allow the creation of new VMs or VM to be migrated from or to another host, which is pretty cool uh, because we don't have a downtime. I mentioned something called VSphere Live Patch. VSphere 8 Update 3 can address critical bugs in the virtual machine execution environment without the need to reboot or evacuate to another host. Example of fixes includes those in the virtual device space. Virtual machines are fast suspend resume, FSR, as a part of the host remediation process. This is non-disruptive to most virtual machines. A virtual machine FSR is non-disruptive operation and is already used in the virtual machine operations when adding or removing virtual hardware devices. The vSphere Lifecycle Manager compliance scan will report virtual machines that are incompatible with SR, FSR and the reason why. So example showing how this fair life cycle patch is applied. So first, host enters partial maintenance mode. New mode revision loaded. New mode revision patched. VM, VMs fast suspend resume to consume patched mode revision. Some virtual machines are not compatible with FSR. VMs configured with vSphere fault tolerance, VMs using direct path IO and vSphere pods cannot use FSR and need to be manually remediated. Enhanced image customization. VSphere Lifecycle Manager images can be further customized in new update. In the base ESXi version, the VMware host client and ESXi VM tools component can be deleted from image. When a vendor add-on is present, certain components belonging to vendor add-on can be also omitted from the final image. This also includes the ability to retain an existing driver version rather than adopting the new driver in the newer vendor 
add-on bundle, dual DPU support. Update 3 includes support for dual DPU configurations. Similar to single DPU configurations, vSphere Life Cycle Manager will remediate both DPU ESXi versions and ensure all versions are kept at the same version. vSphere Reduce Downtime Update vSphere Reduce Downtime Update supports all vCenter deployment topologies. Self-managed, vCenter VM is managed by itself. Non-self-managed, vCenter VM is managed by a different vCenter. Enhanced link mode, two or more vCenter instances participating in the same SSO domain. vCenter HA, vCenter instances configured for vCenter high availability. Automatic switch over is available when performing updates to vCenter using reduced downtime updates. The switch over phase will begin immediately and take approximately two to five minutes of service downtime. One can continue to manually initiate the switch over phase for control over exactly when the switch over phase and brief downtime will occur. Hardware and GPU improvements. We talk about the dual DPU support. Now we talk about the Intel Xenon CPU Max series support. VSphere 8 Update 3 induced support for Intel Xenon CPU Max series designed to accelerate high performance computing workloads, particularly those involving AI and machine learning. This includes leveraging high bandwidth memory embedded within the CPU for superior performance. Enhanced GPU utilization. Significant improvements have been made to GPU utilization, allowing different vGPU profile types to coexist to the same physical GPU, optimizing resource allocation and efficiency. Additionally, cluster-level GPU monitoring provides detailed insight into GPU resource usage across the cluster, facilitating better management and optimization. Let's talk about the security and compliance upgrades. Ping Federate support. vSphere 8 Upgrade 3 expand its identity federation capabilities by including support for Ping Federate, adding to existing integration with Entra ID, Okta and ADFS. This enhancement offers greater flexibility in managing identity and access control with vSphere environment. Now, guys, this is um, something I have to say that integration with Okta is not done great and I am struggling to connect my vCenter because they are not publicly accessible. The integration with Okta is done that way that vCenter sends query to Okta and Okta has to connect back to vCenter. And because my vCenter is not in the public domain, Okta can't find it. Uh, as a workaround, there's two options. You can build a private tunnel or you can use a proxy server and expose proxy to the to the internet instead of your vCenter. Well, but both solutions are not great. And I hope with the next release, VMware will do something about it. Okay, but going back on the subject of security, TLS and Cypher Suite profile support. The update introduced a profile-based approach for configuring TLS and Cypher Suites, simplifying the process of adhering to security best practice and audit requirements. This ensures that vSphere environment can quickly align with modern security standards. 
the security configuration guide can be updated to include a new feature such as TLS profiles and enhance guidance for security visa environments. This ensures administrators have the latest recommendations and tools for maintaining a secure infrastructure. Availability and resilience. Embedded vSphere cluster services. The re-architecture vSphere cluster service, VCLS, now uses fewer resources and eliminates storage footprint, running entirely in the host memory. This streamlined approach reduces complexity and enhances the overall resilience of vSphere cluster. Workload optimization. CPU C-state virtualization. Energy efficiency improvements include the virtualization of CPU C-states, allowing workloads to manage power saving modes effectively. This is particularly beneficial for telco and VRAN infrastructures, optimizing energy use based on workload demands. Administrator can now customize virtual hardware configurations during the deployment of OVF, OVA templates from the content library. This streamlines the deployment process and ensures that virtual machines are optimally configured from the start. Reactivation of disabled operation. Reactivation of disabled operation. VSphere 8 update 3 makes it easier to reactivate sentient disabled operation directly from the VSphere client, improving operational efficiency and reducing the chance of prolonged services disruption. So this is it. If you want me to talk about any of those features in greater details, let me know in the comment section. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. And now we can see that our process is finished and the vCenter is rebooting, so this is normal, so don't panic. We wait a few moments until all the services will restart. And our vCenter is on the version 3. Let's log into vCenter and let's have a look if we can see the new features. This is new feature, use RSA Secure ID. I didn't see that in the old vCenter. Okay, and let's have a look. If you want to build a new image, uh, let's edit and let's have a look on the update tree. And we see that Dell already has a add-on for a version three, which is great. We have to update uh, ESXi source to this version and then we will see uh, here live per performance, uh, live patch, and we will see live patch option over here. Um, I will not do it uh, that yet. Uh, well, we, can, we can validate the image anyway. Um, but what I want to see is if we can put the host maintenance mode I don't have option to put the host in partial maintenance mode because the center is updated but the host are not that's why I cannot um, do it but as soon as I will update the host to version uh, 8 update 3 then I will have like enter partial maintenance mode option here okay guys I hope that was informative please leave a like and subscribe to my channel. If you have any questions or comments, let's discuss that in the uh, comment section in this video. This will help to grow my channel and then I, will can, I can give you more and more of my time. Right, thank you and see you in the next video, bye.